Hello, Gavin Birch Hall here again, and welcome to today's tutorial. Right, okay, today I'm going to show you how to set up your product listing in warriorplus.com. So if you haven't created an account already, you can do so for free at Warrior Plus. Then you'll want to log in, like I've already done so. And then obviously you'll want to click on this link here that says vendors. Then you'll come to this page and you have a couple of options here. Now, if you want to buy a license and add a recurring payment option to your particular product, so basically you can charge a monthly subscription, then you want to buy a license, okay? So that allows you to charge monthly payments for your paying members. If you just want to go for the free setup, that comes with all the features. But for every sale that is made, Warrior Plus will charge you a small fee for every sale. It's only a, a tiny amount, so it's entirely up to you whether you want to just have a look at the options here and just think about what is the best option for your particular product launch. Let's just set up a free listing. So we'll click on free setup there. Now you'll come into this page. As you can see, WSO Pro Advanced. And then you'll come here and start listing your product. So you want to give your product a name. Delivery file. If you want to upload a zip file so people can access your product, you can do so here. Delivery URL. You can either place a an upsell offer in here or an OTO. Or you can use the offers section to set up your sales funnel that way. So basically you can add one, two, three, or even four or even five products using this. Or you can just paste the access link there the uh, thank you page or download page link or an OTO or upsell link sale notification you can leave that unchecked that's just basically every time you make a sale you'll receive an email support email add that in there you can add a support URL in too I always just stick to the email and leave the support URL blank refund I always go for 30 days or you can even do 60 days it's entirely up to you limited quantity if you do have a, a limit for how many products you want to sell add that in there so that could be 100 or 200 but I, I always leave that blank because I don't want my products to be limited on the amount of sales that I can make from them so the keywords, just add a few keywords in what particularly match your product. It could be anything that best describes your particular product launch. Again, leave that checked. And um, basically it's just for the offers and sales funnel system. It all depends on whether you want to use the offers or not for your particular launch. WSO post, basically you'll link that to the WSO post that you created at the Warrior Forum, okay? So on launch day, you'll want to pay for your WSO at the Warrior Forum. Then you'll come back in here and obviously select that and then link it to the WSO listing. Open for sale, you want to leave it, make sure that's always selected. PayPal, again, if you don't have a PayPal account, you'll need to create one. Then link that PayPal account to Warrior Plus and then come in here and select your PayPal email address as it says here. Stripe account, I don't use that. That's something that's new at Warrior Plus. You can take a look at that if you want. Pricing details, buy now. If you do pay for a... If you do pay for a listing fee as a 
I did demonstrated before the $19 listing fee. This will also allow you to add a subscription service. So basically you get paid every month for a particular product, but because this is a free listing, you can only have the buy now option. Again, let's just add an example price in here. You could just leave that as is, but if you want to add a dime, dime sale, you could obviously try and increase it by 10 cents for every one sale and then max the price out at let's say $15. So you could add some urgency to your launch on launch day and tell people that it's increasing for every sale that is made. And everyone obviously will want to jump in and get it at the cheapest possible price. All this is optional. You could just leave this at $9.95 or whatever price you want to charge for your particular product. Integration, I don't bother with that. You can always uh, ask the support team about that if you want to know more. Autoresponder, great little feature. You'll click on the button there. Select your particular autoresponder service. Mine is get response. Click on that there and then you'll select your particular campaign there. So what you want to do is go to your autoresponder service, create the campaign, add your email that you want your buyers to receive as soon as they buy your product, okay, with the access links in. This is what I do personally for my launches. Come in here, select the campaign and click on save. And then as soon as someone buys your product, they're automatically added to your buyers list. But not only that, they receive their links automatically. It just allows everything to run smoothly for your launch on launch day. Affiliate program, again, 10 to 100%. I always go for 75. Um, I always go 75 and maybe 50 on, on, an, on an OTO offer. So front end is entirely up to you. Depends on how many affiliates you want to attract. Obviously, you'll go for 100% if you want to attract more affiliates or 50%. I, I, I wouldn't go any, any lower than 50%. So 50 to 100% is fine. Affiliate information, you want to add as much information as you can here into this box so affiliates can easily grab their links and obviously sign up to your JV list. So leave a URL. And then give some more. So leave a JV page URL and then give as much information about your actual commissions and things like that to let your affiliates know more about your particular launch so they can jump on board and start promoting. WS over the day, leave that checked. Again, whatever you've, the example is shown 50% here. So I always say 50% again, but obviously this could be 75 or even 100%. So if that's 100%, I always match it for the any affiliates outside of Warrior Plus 2. So in the box, you want to add a review copy of your product. So that could be a URL or a URL to a zip file. So if you're using Amazon S3, as I do, what I like to do is upload my product in a zip file and then add that to the box here. So basically Warrior Plus will take a look at your product and do a review and obviously let others know who are looking to buy your product more about your products and uh, obviously that increases sales i mean it's increased sales for me and warrior plus have sent me lots and lots of sales 
for basically every particular launch that I've done. So add as much information in there again so Warrior Plus can let us know about your launch. And when that's done and you're happy with everything and you've linked your account to your auto spander, you're happy with the price, you'll just simply click on save and that is that. Obviously, I've missed some things out here just because this is a demonstration, but um, hopefully that's cleared things up. And uh, I just want to show you a couple of more things before this tutorial ends. Yeah, so one final thing, once your listing is set up and you're happy with everything, you can come to the actions button here and obviously click on this affiliate sign up page. This will allow your affiliates to sign up to your offer. You'll just give them the, this URL here, add it to your JV page. They can come to this page and grab their links and start promoting for your offer. Also, you want to grab some links so you can start promoting via email or at your blog or anywhere else. You click on the embed code here. And you can add a tracking link to that link as well. So you can track where your sales are coming from for your WSO launch. Or of course, if you choose to go the personal, personal license, $19, you can track where those sales are coming from too. So that's it for today's tutorial on the Warrior Plus setup. If you want more information from me and you like this tutorial, just keep watching this video and it will show you exactly how to get more information and training tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next demonstration tutorial. I make money online using the exact tips and strategies that I'm showing you here right now on YouTube. So to get access to all of my videos, there's just three short steps I want you to take right now. Step 1. Hover your mouse over the subscribe button and simply click it. Step 2. Click the like button. And Step 3. Finally, below the published on text, there is a hyperlink where you can come directly to my website and get in contact with me directly via email for any help you need in terms of tips and strategies for making more money online. This is Gavin from GavinBirchall.com and I look forward to hearing from you soon.